question number six it says y equals 4x plus c the line with the equation y equals 4x plus c meets the curve y equals x into x minus 3 at only one point so we need to find the value of c and part a got four marks so when they say a line meets the curve the given curve at only one point that means they are basically talking about point of intersection so how do we find the point of intersection we equate them when we equate them we will get 4x plus c equals x into x minus 3 because the point where the line meets curve is the point which which lies on both the line and the curve so y inter y coordinate and the x coordinate will be the same that means it's just basically a point of intersection so you equate the y values and you can find the point of intersection when you solve you can find but our main task is we need to find the value of c so when we rearrange this we will get 4x plus c equals x square minus 3x when you multiply x by both the terms and when you write this properly when you bring this term to the other side it becomes x square minus 3x minus 4x is minus 7x minus c is 0 so that's a quadratic equation and we are going to use this discriminant of this quadratic equation to find c you know why we use a discriminant okay when we take this is basically a parabola a quadratic function x square minus 3x and this is a straight line so if we talk about a point of intersection of a straight line and a parabola there are three cases one is the line may just touch the parabola at exactly one point or maybe it might pass through the parabola so it will intercept the parabola at two points or sometimes it will never touch the parabola at all it will be somewhere like here so it won't touch the parabola at all there are three scenarios but how do we use the discriminant to find uh, whether the line intercept the parabola or not so what we do we take the equation of the line on the parabola and we combine them and form a quadratic equation so we got this quadratic equation in x and we take this discriminant of this quadratic equation if the discriminant is equal to zero if the discriminant of not this quadratic function that the discriminant of the combined function when you combine you get a quadratic function so when we take the discriminant of this quadratic function and if it is zero the line touches just touches the curve at exactly one point if the discriminant is less than zero b square minus 4ac is less than zero the line never touches the parabola if the discriminant is greater than zero b square minus 4ac is greater than zero that means if it is a positive number that line will uh, pass through intercept the curve at two points so you don't need to find the points because basically they ask you to find c but the condition is if you read the question properly the line touches the curve at only one point so the condition is b square minus 4ac is 0 b square minus 4ac from here our a is coefficient of x square b is minus 7 our c is this here it's minus c okay then when we find the discriminant it's not we finding the discriminant the discriminant must be equal to zero in order for the line to touch the curve exactly at one point so the condition is b square minus 4ac is zero so our b square is minus 7 whole square minus 4 a is 1 our c is basically minus c here is zero c is the constant term so we need to take the term together with the sign which is minus c when you simplify this you get 49 plus 4c is zero so our 4c is minus 49 c is minus 49 upon 4 that's it 
This is how you find the value of C and you got 4 marks only. The tricky part here is if you try to solve this quadratic equation, it's time consuming and you may not get the value of C. So the only thing you need to remember this result. Whenever we talk about a line and a quadratic function, a parabola, there are three conditions. If the discriminant is less than zero, it will never touch. If it is zero, the line will touch the curve at exactly one point. If it is greater than zero, it will pass through the parabola at two points. And again, the discriminant is not the discriminant of this quadratic equation. The discriminant after you combining them, you combine them, equate them and you come up with a new quadratic equation in X and the discriminant of this, this quadratic equation. By looking at the nature of this discriminant, you can say that whether, you can say whether the line will touch or never touches or pass through the problem. So we got the C value which is minus 49 upon 4 and you can't simplify this anymore. That's your C. So you can just substitute C in here in order to solve our part B. So our part B got 3 marks. We need to find the coordinates of the point where the line touches the parabola. So apparently we need to use the result that we got in our part A, which is C equals minus 49 by 4. You substitute the C value here and find the point of intersection. Point of intersection, you equate them and you solve it. Or in part A, we got this uh, quadratic equation. We can use the result from part A. It's x squared x square minus uh, 7x minus c equal 0. When we combine them, we will get x square minus 7x minus c equal 0 and substitute the c value here. So you get x square minus 7x plus 49 upon 4 is 0. And you need to solve this to find two x values and and you need to uh, substitute the x value in either one of these equations to find the y value. Okay, you see a fraction here, so multiply everything by 4 to remove the fraction. 4x square minus 28x plus 49 is 0. You need to solve this using any of the known method. You can use factorization or formula or anything. But this one can be written as 2x minus 7 whole square. If you factorize or use the formula method, you will get this. So your 2x minus 7 is 0. Your x is 7 upon 2. You will get two equal values. Even if you use formula method, you will get two equal values. Because your disc when you use the formula, the formula is minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. But we know already the discriminant is 0 because the line touches the parabola at exactly one point. So if it is zero, your value will be minus b by 2a, which is 28 by 8, which is, you will get x is minus b by 2a, 28 by 8, which is 7 by 2. 7 fours are 28, 2 fours are 8. So our x value is 7 by 2. That's the x coordinate of the point. Substitute this x value in either one of these equations, you will get the y, y coordinate. You can take any equation because it's basically a point of intersection. But I would rather take the easiest one. In, uh, instead of substituting the x value here and multiply everything, I would rather go for this equation because we know our c value already. So when you substitute y equals 4 into x, which is 7 by 2, and plus c, c is 49 by 4. So when we simplify, it's 28 by 2 minus 49 by 4. So use your calculator or use the LCM method. You can multiply this by 2. It's 49 by 4, which is 56 minus 49 is 7 by 4. That's our y coordinate. So the point of intersection has a x coordinate and the y coordinate. So the point of, you need to find the coordinates of the points. So it's 7 upon 2, comma 7 upon 4. 
That's the point where the line meets the problem.